Hello everyone, welcome to this lesson. So in this lesson, we're going to go through the neutron raffson code to find optimums and we're going to apply it on 1D optimization. We're going to be applying this on the function that we've introduced in the previous lesson, which is f of x is equal to 4 minus x squared minus 0.2x cubed. And we've described that this function has two optimums, one at negative 3.33, which is a minimum, and also one at zero, which is a maximum. We've also described that basically we're going to be taking the neutron raffson, which is a root finding technique, and we're going to transform it slightly to now be able to find optimums. And we have described that one characteristic of these optimums is that the derivative is equal to zero, which means if we graph the derivative, the x-intercepts are going to be corresponding to the optimum. So if we find the roots of the derivative, we in consequence find the optimums of the actual function. So um, as we predicted, the actual change that's going to happen to the neutron raffson for um, to finding roots is basically to find optimums, we're going to be, uh, this is instead of f of xi, this is going to be um, f prime of xi because we're trying to find the roots of the actual uh, derivative and also the derivative of that derivative, which is the second derivative. So f double prime of xi. So let's actually go through the code. So the code is going to go through two primary changes. Uh, one is, of course, in terms of the function. Instead of dealing with the function as derivative, now we're dealing with the derivative and the second derivative. Here the derivative is negative 2x minus 0.6 multiplied by x squared. And here you have the second derivative is negative 2 minus 1.2x. Uh, now here we're still dealing with an open method and the neutron raffson, so we're dealing with one guess. And I'm going to be starting with negative 1 to attempt to get the root or the optimum at 0. Here the headers and the initialization is still the same as we've dealt with before. And of course here is the main uh, while loop defined in terms of the approximate error. We're going to be doing it for 0.1% um, error or going below 0.1% error. So here is the main change in this code is basically defining the neutron raffson to find optimums now. So x optimum is equal to xi uh, minus this is going to be the derivative of x uh, at xi divided by the second derivative at xi. Um, everything else here is still the same. Uh, we're still calculating the approximate error. And of course here we're storing the optimum for the next iteration. And this is just to print the uh, information for each one of the iterations. And this um, i is to up the application uh, and kind of like a counter for the number of applications that we're going to be applying the neutron raffson. And of course, once we find the x value, uh, where basically is the derivative equal to zero, we have to uh, classify the nature of this point by the second derivative test, whether it's a minimum or of course, whether it's a maximum. Um, so let's actually run this code and see um, for a guess of negative one uh, for an approximate error of less than 0.1%. So if I run this, so you can see we took one, uh, five different iterations. It in fact found the root or the optimum at zero and we have the errors 0.000432. You can see it actually converged uh, very, very quickly to that um, root or to that optimum. And again, I've, I've um, explained this in a previous lesson that the neutron raffson when it's applied to a single root it converges uh, quadratically so you can actually see that here it actually converged quite uh, quickly and now after we have gotten the zero now we d uh, apply the second derivative test and basically it's a very simple f else statement so we're going to say if the second derivative at x optimum is greater than zero print um, the critical point is a minimum else print critical point is a maximum and in this case it was less than zero so the critical point is a maximum so let's actually do a guess that is closer to the 3.33 to get uh, that um, optimum or this root so if I run this you can find it took six different iterations now we have an approximate error of 0 0.000773 and of course we have here converged to the uh, derivative root at negative 3.33 or the optimum at negative 3.33. And here it uh, classified it as a minimum. So you can see that actually the neutron raffson to find optimums is a very simple code. It's just a slight, um, a slight change. Instead of dealing with a function as derivative, now we're dealing with the derivative and the second derivative. And we just redefine this equation here and we add the second derivative test to uh, classify the, the x optimum um, estimation that we get. 
Now, in the next lesson, we're going to be describing another technique to find optimums for 1D optimization. That's going to be the golden section uh, search technique. Uh, well, that's it for this lesson, and I will see you in the next lecture. Thank you very much.